no. Absolutely not. This is your worst idea yet. Do I need to remind you of the unwritten rule of acquisition, brother? Rule zero. What the Nagus wants, we acquire. Why me? Get an Eliminator to do it. Get 50. You can afford it. You have connections with the Klingons. That and your Rom's second most trusted Ferengi. What? Who's first? Nog? Pell? No. Boogie. Fine. Send her then. But brother, <laughs> you did such a great job of rescuing her before. I also told your son to shoot me if I ever thought of doing something like that again. That's right, you did. Well, don't worry, he won't. That's not what I'm worried about. We need this, brother. We can't hold off the Herc forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother, otherwise we're doomed. Insanity! You don't even know where the Iconian fleet is, Rom. I don't, but Starfleet Intelligence monitors all major threats, including the Iconians. Starfleet isn't in the habit of sharing classified data. If we can get access to a security console, we can extract the data. We'll need to keep the security officer on duty occupied. <laughs> Leave that to me, husband. Okay. All right, Lita. The security officer on duty is a creature of habit. Comes in on her break every day without fail. Your job is to keep her occupied so Rom can get what we need from the security console. Do what you need to do. Smile, laugh at her jokes, whatever it takes. Put those feminine wiles of yours to good use. Really, Quark? I'm not here to seduce your customers. You and I both know there's more than one way to work a mark. Yeah, get them drunk. Whatever you say, just don't mess it up. She'll be here any minute now. You worry too much, Quark. I got this. Well, hello there. It's your lucky day, officer. You're the 10 millionth customer here at Quark's. Congratulations! You've just won a free drink and a free spin at the Davo table. Quark, why don't you pour the lucky winner a drink? What'll it be, Constable? The 10th millionth customer. <laughs> really, what she needs is a flashy sign and all arrows pointing at it or something. Oh, thanks. I'll take a nice track to Gino. I I'm on duty. I can't stay too long, but I suppose I have enough time for a spin at the table. Lead the way. Quark is gonna be so mad that we gave away some freebies. Quark, will you turn that hollow me off, please? It's creeping me out. This is why I like the hollow leader. She doesn't complain as much as the original. There. Happy? The free drink will get her to relax. Um. And then some Dabo to keep her busy. Did we actually serve her the free drink? One loss to remove suspicion. Oh, looks like my luck's run out. Ah oh, well. Thanks for the drink and the spin. Better get back to my station. Whoa, 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 don't be so hasty, friend. The law of averages is on your side here. Trust me. Have another spin on the house. Yeah, that's what that's not how averages or statistics work. <laughs> okay, you've convinced me. Mm. One more spin. Why not? And then a victory to reel her in. I hope I don't have to do any rigging. Oh, 
just double. Nicely done. Uh, those winnings are coming out of your cut, though. <laughs> Good, the guard's distracted. Time to go to work. Overriding yes. this door panel should be child's play. He looks really uh, unsuspicious, carrying the cane of the Grand Nagus, right? Nobody would ever remember him. This is the most secret maintenance panel. Chief O'Brien needed me to fix it once. Rotate the Islander chips so that they are aligned in the columns blue, green, and white. Okay, so we... Use engineering... Exp okay. Once I'm in, I can install that a back door. Then we can access the system from the console at Quark's. Current test key. Match digital and locations zero. Okay. Change the first digit to one. Um. And first digit to two. Okay, we, we start with a U. Change second digit to one. Okay. This might take a while. Two, three. Oh, is it going to be two, three, four, five? Oh, we can brute force the code. It's two, three, three, four. Okay. She's heading back, Rom. Get out of there. But it's all correct already. Relax, everyone. It's done. Okay. I'm on my way back. Try not oh. to look conspicuous or guilty. Oh, in order to lock okay. the door, I needed to screw up like the matching. Oh, okay. Now I get I'm a, Straight I'm a mouse that's that. Wait. Straight back to Quarks. Yeah, that was the elevator. <laughs> I'm a true professional. I can't believe you pulled that off. Being the Nagus hasn't made you go soft between the lobes. Let's figure this out before security gets wise. Use the console behind the bar and find out what you can about the Iconians. Oh, and while you're at it, look for any other useful information in there, too. Some of it could be valuable, you know. Relax, brother. I'll have these files cracked in no time. Starfleet encryption is good, but it's nothing compared to what we use in the Commerce Authority. That's actually difficult. Check the logs for useful info. Ah, there is a console. Oh, look, Morn is still here drinking after all these years. Most recent for well, the Conians are what we're here for. Started eight eight zero three nine point eight. Taket's fleet is currently in the Feban sector, moving through deep space. She's keeping a low profile for the most part, avoiding conflict with both the Dominion and the Herc. Anything foolish enough to get in her sights doesn't live long enough to regret it. However. The wreckage of a Gamma pirate flotilla will testify to that. Intelligence officer's log, stardate 89001.7. Major Herc activity throughout the four quadrants. 
As expected, Alliance forces are spread thin in attempts to protect critical sites in their own territory, as well as within the Dominion. The Klingons continue to stay out of it, with the exception of a token force of volunteers. Efforts to enlist the full aid of the Empire to date have faltered. Hey, I'm one of those volunteers. Intelligence officer's log, starting 8.8.139.9. A large Fakiri fleet has been spotted in transit to the Gamma Quadrant. Analysis of their course suggests they're heading toward the renegade Iconian fleet. Interesting. If the two of them manage to eliminate each other, well, that'll be two less headaches to keep me up at night. It's all I need. Although my money's on the Iconians and that's fine. All right, Rom, a deal is a deal. You found the Iconian, so I guess it's my turn now. Time to put the team together? Yes. And that's the job. Confront. Where's Gala? Really? He shot the hostage last time. He's not invited. Brunt, your database skills should help us locate the package. Always happy to help, Grand Nagus. Retreat. Still a master of Rule 33. Aren't you, Brunt? It never hurts to suck up to the boss. Of course! I presume you'll need my ship again, yes? Not this time. We'll need a ship that can fight. Just in case. And Is it going to we'll be my ship? Thanks to our friend here. Good. Ah. Everyone's here. Also, full consortium. Ugh. Unbelievable! The table's rigged! I'm sure of it! Well, obviously it's free. You're at Quarks. Here we are. The cloaking device I, uh, I acquired from my cousin Gala is working like a charm. Keep an eye on it. Though I'd rather not attract the attention of the Iconians or the Fakiri, for that matter. I do have my own cloaking device. I'm a Klingon, you know. Looks like they're busy trying to blow each other to bits out there. Let's use that to our advantage. You see those Iconian sentry probes? They use those to detect cloaked ships. So you'll want to disable them before we move much closer. This cloak is good. But it's not that good. Okay. Getting in's the easy part. We're cloaked and unexpected. I still wonder if that cloak is better than my actual Klingon cloak, which my ship has. Even as battle cloak. I suppose the true masters of cloaking would be the Romulans, though. Enemy alert. Oh, there is an enemy alertness. Oh, damn it. Am I su supposed to be like real sneaky here? Yeah? Nothing to close. hear, Sentry. They can see us. Get back. No, 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 no. We did it in time. Well, we did it in time. That should be enough to get to the flagship undetected. Now. It worked. If you'll be so kind as to fly us behind that massive Iconian ship, we'll be on our way. I'm looking forward to this. Almost there. Just take it nice and easy. Yeah, my ship is not the most maneuverable. It's a fat, massive ship, I guess. Also, what's wrong with those Iconians? They look like... As if the textures aren't fully loaded. Or are they, like, protected by some sort of effect shield? 
It's definitely look a bit weird. We made it. I can't believe I'm actually going to sneak onto an Iconian flagship and... Oof. Keep the engine running, okay? Yeah, we can take the cones. We're going to need to get out of here in a hurry. I've never been this close before. Impressive. Terrifying, it's more like it. This is insane. Maybe it's the nebula that sort of like makes it look a little bit uh, out of focus. Or maybe it's just me. Nog, you're our engineer. Buy it 400 and sell it 5. It'll be up to you to disable the security systems, son. Right. I'm familiar with their tech from the war. I won't let you down, father. Evade. We're up first, Nog. We need to lower the local security so Brunt and Lek can do their jobs. No right. problem. I memorized the schematics for this vessel on the way here. There are engineering consoles we can use for that nearby. Follow me. Head left here, Nog. We got this, we got this, probably, they... I see an enemy I've here on the... I've studied Iconian uh, systems. I can unlock these doors. That's good. <sighs> good. Send in the appropriate we'll have to, to disable door. security and engineering. Toggle the door locks. Signal needed 33. Here are some examples. Very well, yes. We need 33. Ah, okay, that's uh, um, so it's going to be one zero one two, right? One zero one two. Oh, okay. Um, got it, and we're done here. I'm an idiot. He doesn't have... No, no, he does have a weapon in case. So what do we need to do? We need to... Uh, defeat cons... Oh, we need to defeat them. Okay. Heralds! Don't worry. I can handle them. Why? Not not stand in the don't stand in the bomb. So we also have to defeat the fraud. We defeated oh we have to defeat more constructs. Why is Quark not help? Uh, well, I mean, it's Quark, I guess. Hold on, Uncle. Something's coming. Yeah, that's probably too big for us. That looks like more than we can handle. Let Lek take care of it. He'll probably enjoy it. Think I can lock the door behind once it's gone? Great idea. Uh, do that. Quickly! Head right here. Shouldn't that door open, or do I have to? Oh, wait. We need 47. Oh, 
Okay. We will obviously start with a one. There we go. Got it. And we're done here. It's only a flesh wound quark, don't you worry. I think we need to defeat this guy here. We've made it. This is main engineering. Would you just die? There we go. There are some sort of alarms going off, I'm sure this is Security's fine. offline. We're good to go. Can we okay. drop their rear shield for a moment? From the other console? Why? Why does he want to drop their rear shield? You'll see. What's that, oh. Uncle? Call it an insurance policy. Oh, did he beam something in? How do you feel about Iconian Heralds? Very dangerous. I look forward to shooting some. Sally 250? Buy at 100. You'll get your chance clearing the path for Quark and Nog. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. I'm in. Black, Brunt, you're on. Brunt, FCA. I'm on my way. Ah, uh, yes, there's going to be a little bit of shooting here. Ooh, they fight back. Good, good. Oh. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. What the hell just happened? Looking this way between patrol points. I should be able to sneak up on it if I duck behind the walls. That's probably bad. Why is this gateway not stopping? Yeah, I think I fucked up. Couldn't you like destroy them? Okay, so I... Uh, duh, 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 there was some sort of tactic I should have employed. I'm not sure why this thing is still standing here. Emotional damage! Definitely. Okay, okay, I'm doing banner. I'm doing banner this time.
Now we threw them all into space. Uh, nice. Not the explosion I was looking for, but it'll do. I found the package. The Iconian keeps it on display in what looks like a trophy room. And here I thought they were above such basic behavior. <laughs> I've analyzed their patrol patterns, Lek. You'll need a clear path for Quark and Nug. I trust you'll keep the guards in that area occupied for a suitable period of time. Does this mean killing? Testing my skills against Iconians? <laughs> this is worth more than latinum to me. Don't get your lobes bunched, front. I'll clear the path for the others by any means necessary. With just the right amount of murder. More enemies to the left, and another console. Are we going to uh, suck them into space as well? Ah, oh, no, we are electrocuting them. What? Still no explosion? Ugh, ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I'm amazed that he even knows how to operate those consoles. Oh. If I make some noise, the big one will come to investigate. Well, everyone needs a hobby. If I overload those conduits, I'm sure it'll make a big explosion. Doesn't anything blow up around here? <laughs> Yeah, it's truly frustrating, right? The path is clear. I'm detecting some nearby patrols. I want to see if I can cause a distraction. Hold on. Okay, so we go up and then right down there. We have a defiler. We might be able to uh, sneak attack here with a knife. Nice. It feels like a knife shouldn't do that much damage to an Iconian, but I'll allow it. If I blow up that console, it'll cause a nice distraction. Nog! How do I overload these ridiculous Iconian consoles? Easy. First you need to... Wait. How are you at trinary conversions? Ah, uh, never mind. I have a workaround. <laughs> Brother, you'll crack the safe. Once Brunt finds it, that is. Nice of you to give me the easy job, Rom. By that point, Lek will have eliminated their guards. We're talking about Iconians here, Rom. I'll be with you, Uncle. You'll be fine. Oh, I feel so much better now. When you consider how much damage the Iconians caused during the Iconian Wars, we, we should have just sent a bunch of Ferengis in, clearly. Time for me to earn my share. Watch and learn. But I'm loving this mission, I have to say. Don't worry, Uncle. I've got your back. Obtain the package. I'm still not sure what exactly we are here for. 
maybe I should have paid more attention to Brie. <laughs> Quark scream when he gets hit. Didn't even go through his shield. Oh, I love this mission. So we are... I think we are heading here through this door and then all the way here. There are... You know, you were supposed to shoot me if I got pulled into another one of these. I thought you meant rescue operations. I can see you later if you'd like. You know, it just wouldn't be the same. Also, I like Iconian ship design. It looks pretty amazing. Oh, those are the ones that... Yeah, ah, now we can see all the, the things that were killed by the other Ferengi. I'm At That's some point wonderful. we're going to find the explosion, right? Like, he's, he's down there somewhere south, causing an explosion right now. I'm sure this will uh, create problems somewhere along the way. <sighs> he left some guard in the trophy room. It's okay, Uncle. We can handle that. All right, now let's find the package. It has to be in one of the display cases around the room. Ah, the sword of Kalos. The sword of Kalos was used in the Iconian War to, like, uh, slice off, I think, the hand of one of the Iconians. I guess they camped in. What's this? Interesting. I read about these at the Academy. Something called NASA sent them out on crude space probes centuries ah. ago to initiate first contact with alien life. I believe this contains audio files, animal sounds, music, language samples. My Earth history instructor would love to get her hands on this. We should, uh, acquire it if we have the time. Uncle! That looks like Captain Sisko's baseball. You don't think it's his, do you? I thought Jake took it with him. Uh, do you remember when Sisko made us play baseball against the Balkans? Mom wouldn't stop talking about it for weeks. Put a bunch of money into that new interstellar league, too. Still can't believe he bought a professional team. The Ferenginar Liquidators. They're terrible. Got beat by the Cation Claws by a score of 18 to 4. And they were cheating! <laughs> Wait, is this a balloon? Ah, you know, I always told the top brass at the Corps of Engineers that making the party poppers look like weapons was a bad idea. Any officer who uses one of those instead of a real weapon is in for a bad day. I suspect that's how Taket got her hand on one of these balloons. Shame. But I mean, it's not really a weapon, like, isn't it like a bird of prey or something? What do we have here? That's a bottle of prune juice. I'd recognize that color anywhere. Worf constantly demanded I have a bottle on hand at the bar. A warrior's drink, he called it. More like a torture drink. I tried some once. Let's just say that it was not a pleasant digestive experience. What's this? Seeing these reminds me of the Dominion War. A lot of those were sent back home to loved ones. Starfleet, the Klingons, the Romulans. Oh! They all have their different rituals. Even the enemy cared for their dead. And there they are say tanks. you don't have a heart, Uncle. It's too bad we don't have enough time to steal these and sell them back to the people <laughs> who want them. 34th rule of acquisition, Nog. 
War is good for business. Ah, uh, good old Quark. What do we, what's this? Ah, I've seen these statues on New Romulus. They were made by the Daywans, a servitor race of the Iconians. Not sure why Tiket would keep one of these on display. Maybe it's of a sentimental value to her, even if that's possible. Is that a lockbox? Looks like a secure treasure box. I wonder what's inside. It could be practically anything. Leave it to an Iconian to lock up a box of valuables and hoard it away. Well, not everyone is as good at opening locks as you, Uncle. Most people would need the appropriate key. <laughs> is, is that like... Are they making fun of the lock boxes or advertising them? Maybe a little bit of both. Amazing! That's a singularity! Tiket must have taken it from a Romulan warbird! You could say it was the heart of that ship. <laughs> must have been a memorable opponent for her to keep that on display like this. What's this? Is that part of an Iconian? Oh, that's Why a hand. Why would Tiket keep a severed body part? That's insane. Tiket lost her arm when she fought Kalis during the war. She's keeping it as a trophy or, or maybe a reminder of one of her few failures. I knew she was intense, but this is pretty ridiculous. Mm. That's a lot of Latin. Impressive. I could buy a Starliner with that and have enough left to buy a condo on Ryza. Probably not beachfront, but it'd be nice. It's FCA graded, too. She must have gotten it from a Ferengi. Oh, tough break. Seems only fitting that we acquire it. Fine. Mind on the mission. Stop looking at me like that. I mean, if you're already here to steal things, why not take the money too? Why not take everything? Okay, Package this is the sword. Located. The sword of Kalos. Now, we need to retrieve it. Um, how are we retrieving it? Oh, console in the center. So yeah, I guess we're gonna bring the Klingons in the war I by offering them their fancy bring sword. The package from its display globe. I need to use the right frequencies, though. Enter the wrong one, and every alarm around will go off. The frequencies change periodically. Once I start this, I need to get them all, or I'll have to start over. Oh no! This is gonna go so horribly wrong. For you. Should be easy enough to get the frequencies. You of all people should know that Federation tricorders record whatever they scan. Never leave a data trail. We'll do this the Ferengi way. It'll take someone with the lopes for the job. That's me. Okay. The needed frequencies between 65 and 85. Wait, is it that? Okay. I mean, that, that seems trivial. Good evening, Sonny. I have the loops for this, clearly, clearly. I also have to drink for this, that's how. <laughs> Nicely done, Uncle. We did it, we actually did it. We shouldn't stick around though. Let's head back to the shuttle before the Iconians figure out what we're up to. Rule seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. Now it's going to be the explosion, right? 
it then draws everyone in. That's far enough. Really? He's going to rob us. Well done, Quark. You actually managed to pull it off. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. You've a talent for larceny, after all. Time, however, is a factor. Hand it over now, or I'll shoot you both and take it from your cold, dead fingers. Are you out of your mind? Have you forgotten who Nog and I are related to? No payout is worth what will happen to you if you do this. Ron will have every Eliminator, Bounty Hunter, and Pirate in the Four Quadrants gunning for you. Probably. How did Lek put it? Oh, yes. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. Wise words indeed. The payout from this job will provide me with more than enough latinum to remove your idiot brother and take my rightful place as the Grand Nagus. I'm willing to give you a sporting chance, however. Hand over the package. You might be able to flee before that very angry Iconian arrives. I mean, who is he going to sell the sword, though? Like, uh, who, who is his, his customer? I really wonder. Have it your way, Brunt. You're dumber than you look. If you think the crew of our ride won't be suspicious when you come back without us. They'll probably throw you in the brig on general principle. I know I would. Ah, but I won't be traveling with them, Quark. I've made other travel arrangements. Time's up. Hand it over, or prepare to meet the Blessed Exchequer. I'd pay a lot to witness that audit. Might even be worth dying for, just to hear you scream on your way to the vault of eternal destitution. I mean, could he shoot both of us before one of us shoot him? Are we really handing over the sword? We should stamp him with him. Goodbye, Quark. At last, goodbye! Nog, now! Wait. A force field? It will not stop me for any. Look a little closer. That's a chronoton field. You might make it through, but it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible, intelligent people. Your call. Cat makes a pretty good point. That's where you're wrong. I don't have anything of yours on me. Run a scan if you don't believe me. If anything, I was trying to stop the lunatic that did steal from you. I may be odious vermin, but I'm not stupid. Look, we should be working together to stop our mutual enemy instead of wasting time with this argument. There will be plenty of time to eliminate each and every one of you filthy creatures. That field of yours will drop eventually, and then you will die. Your cohort will be trapped and ultimately killed. I will have my vengeance on you all soon enough. You're not entirely wrong, but I think you're going to have a much bigger problem to deal with in the very near future. Any moment now. Good evening, Chess Josh. How are we probably going today? We are currently on the 
on an Iconian vessel, stealing the sword of Kalis to get the Klingons involved in the Herc War. And well, it was Quark with his fellow Ferengi who planned the operation, but one of the Ferengi betrayed us and stole the sword that we stole from the Iconians, and now we are trapped here with an angry Iconian. So everything is going perfectly fine. Remember this? A little something we picked up on Karema. Keep it on your ship and beam it to our location when we give you the signal. What's that, Uncle? Call it an insurance policy. You might make it through, but it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible, intelligent people. Your call. Explain yourself. Speak what you still can, Ferengi. They're called Herc. Maybe you've heard of them. Real nasty dispositions. Eat everything they come across, and now they've come across your fleet. You Iconians are tough, but you're not invincible. Against the Fakiri and the Herc? Those are some pretty long odds to get. Here's how this is going to work. You're going to let us go, and in return, I'll disable the device that's bringing every Herc in the Quadrant here to chew on your ship. We'll go our way, you'll go yours. Otherwise, we'll wait and see what happens first. My field drops, or you and your ship become the main course at the Herc Buffet. Good negotiating tactic. I agree to your terms. Go! Get out! Leave my ship and disable your precious device. Know this. You've made an enemy today, Ferengi. I am patient. I will avenge myself. <laughs> you will pay for your crimes. Right. Then we have a deal. We'll be on our way then. I'll take care of your hurt problem once I've made it to a safe distance. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but we both know that'd be a lie. <laughs> I like Quark's face. Wait, did he just lose the ability to, like, disable the device? We're almost there, but we lost the sword! We went through all of this, and for what? Quark to Madrin. Is the package secured? Madrin here. You'll be happy to know the package is safe and sound. I beamed it to your ship a few minutes ago. I'm afraid Brunt is a little bruised, but these things happen. I'll keep him nice and sedated until we get back to the Alpha Quadrant. And Quark, be sure to let the Nagus know I held up my end of the bargain, won't you? Oh, they intercepted the, the Ferengi that stole the sword, nice. I'll be sure to let him know, Matron. Quark out. Always have a backup plan, Nog. Especially when dealing with snakes like Brunt. Let's go. And look! The shuttle's right where we left it! Things are looking up for a change! Let's get out of here before Tket changes her mind. So, uh... Are we not going to join the space fight or just... leave? Thanks for sticking with me. Now, if you don't mind, let's get back to DS9. There's a very cranky icon looking for an excuse to kill us all. I'd rather not give it one more.
Thankfully, she'll be busy dealing with the hurt. Garrick's little toy works like a charm. Okay. We've got a problem. The cloaking device is acting up. If it goes down, every ship in the system will know we're here. I'll do what I can to keep it running, but we might need to fight our way out of here. Oh no! I mean, I have my own cloaking offline. device, technically. Terrific! This is what I get for buying it. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll be running it again. I just need a couple minutes. You know, I have my own battle cloak, tank, Mickey. Where's Frank? He so. found another way back to DS. Of course, since I'm a Klingon, I'm not gonna stay cloaked all this time. We're gonna. We're gonna show those Arconians. Three Cobalt device. Probably either. Just one more minute. Keep us safe. Cute that they think they have a chance against me. Oh, I should be launching my fighters, by the way. online again and we're at a safe distance from the enemy we can leave as soon as you're ready oh. I don't know about the rest of you but I was ready to go the minute we warped into this system and I'm doubly ready to go now not to tell you your business but make it so please now we're gonna return to the Klingons with a fancy sword Quark and Nog told me you did a great job keeping them all safe. Thank you for bringing them back in one piece. The sixth rule of acquisition says, never allow family to stand in the way of opportunity. But what can I say? Family means a lot to me. What happened to Grunt? Grunt is ambitious, but predictable. We expected him to betray us, and we capitalized on it. Grunt made life difficult for the Nausicans who worked for Madrin. That was a painful decision. Ask Dr. Bashir about that if you're interested. Brunt made the mistake of dealing with someone more ambitious than he was. Madrin came to me shortly after Brunt made him an offer, and I made Madrin a counter offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> I think I just came up with a new rule of acquisition. It's not smart to turn down a deal with the Grand Agus. I'm pretty sure Madrin would agree with that. I'm surprised it's not already a deal. There's you. something I'm curious about. The Herc stole the Sword of Kalis from the Klingons a long time ago, but no one seems to know why. They didn't eat it, so there must be something about it they value. And we Ferengi are all about value. Perhaps the lab's sensors and equipment can tell us more. Maybe it's made of a rare, precious metal. Oh, I thought we were just going to use the sword to... Uh... Based on the scans, to get the Klingons on board. that carapace was around for quite a long time before Kalos made a weapon out of it. The blade material is over 4,000 years old, where the story of Kalos is roughly only 1,600 years old. Amazing. Now, this is interesting. 
These readings indicate that the sword of Kales is made out of biological material with a germanium base. I'll need to run more tests to be certain, but I believe the weapon was fashioned out of a Herc carapace. This may explain their interest in it. I'm reading traces of multiple radiation types within the blade. Discounting the type that likely came from the Iconians, there are still clear traces of thermobaric and tetrionic radiation. I believe we could cross-reference Alliance and Dominion star charts and easily determine where these traces of radiation originated from. We have a 4,000-year-old weapon made of a Herc carapace. My analysis okay. of the radiation within the blade should allow us to narrow down its point of origin. I've had the computer working on that as we speak. Let's have a look. Cross-referencing all known Alliance and Dominion star charts and voila. There's one system that contains all of the conditions we've isolated. Havas Kur, at the edge of Dominion space. It's possible we've just discovered the location of the Herc homeworld. Let's nuke it. We should it. forward this information to the appropriate parties at once. This could be the breakthrough we've been looking for. Sounds impressive and valuable. Rule 21, Quark. Never place friendship above profit. How can he even transport? Didn't we have shields, huh? Unbelievable! I knew Brunt was a snake, but Lack? Guess I should have known better. The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. And lex has got plenty of both. He's a fool if he thinks he can steal from me! I'll have every Eliminator, Bounty Hunter, and Pirate in the Four Quadrants gunning for him! No one steals from the Grand Nagus and lives to profit from it! Considering how angry my father is, the Klingons will be the least of Lex's problems. I haven't seen him this mad since he caught me... Well, <laughs> we don't need to get into that. Despite everything that's happened, we'll hold up our end of the bargain. I'll be in touch when everything is prepared. And remember, this operation never happened. I mean... If this never Thank happened... Completely. As far as they're concerned, the sword has been stolen. You uh, <laughs> went a little low for a while, though. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well done, brother. Oh, that was a on you. As promised. Once again, the House of Quark delivers. Martok will be pleased. So will I, Grilka, once the payment clears. Pleasure doing business with you. I didn't see that one coming. I really didn't see that one coming. 